Alright, so I'll be right back with that. Okay. Hey, you just touched your shoulder. What's going on here? Oh, babe, I swear to God, I've never seen that girl in my life. Babe, she's angry, but she knows you. Honey, I swear I don't know. Why would I know? Who was that? Who was what? <laughs> that girl you were gawking at when you came out of the store? You think I'm a fool? I know what you're doing! All of a sudden you're into an argument and you go, where did that come from? You'll find that you'll have strife and you go, how did that happen? We were getting along five minutes ago. Things will come into your relationship if you don't pray about them. Pray for good communication. Pray for complete honesty. Well, when we first got married, um, you know, it was like any other couple, you're excited. We never had a firm foundation at all. I knew I was hurting him. We ended up, she left. I had an affair. If your spouse ever says to you, I don't love you anymore, I don't want you to be afraid of that because sometimes we can lose the feelings of love. And uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I was physically attracted to another woman and I let that rule my life. So don't give up. If, if your spouse ever says that, it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. It just means it feels that way at the moment. And God can turn that around. I wasn't a forward-thinking male. You know, I led by uh, my instinctive behavior. And infidelity happens, and I, I, I think it's more common than we realize because a lot of people don't talk about these things. So I researched 200 men, 100 who physically cheated on their wives and 100 who remained faithful. So here it is, the number one reason men cheat. Well, it's not about sex. One thing I didn't understand as a young married woman, and what a lot of other women don't fully understand, is how much power we have in our role as wives. We truly have the ability to build our husband's self-worth or to effectively crush his ego. And I, I, but I kept on praying and kept on praying. And God kept teaching me about my heart, about, about having um, a heart that was willing to be humble before the Lord and say, God, make me the person you want me to be. But the number one dissatisfaction in the marriage that men said contributed to them getting lost and cheating had to do with emotional disconnection. Saying, I want you, is great and is often more than a lot of wives do. But keep going. Take your relationship to the next level. As women, we want husbands who are committed to their marriages, to their families, and to us, their wives. And I, I saw such tremendous answers to prayer that today, he's, I, both of us, he's a different person and I'm a, I'm a different person as well. At Love to Romance, we took what Gary Newman says is the number one way to keep a man emotionally connected and added three more techniques from our own research. When I consistently give him the four A's, he's drawn to me. And when I stop giving them, he emotionally withdraws. Keep living God's way. Keep asking God to, to make you all he created you to be. And he will do that for, for your spouse as well. Now I get that we need to keep making memories. We can't just rely on one unforgettable day. Marriage takes work, and that means I create more unforgettable moments. I, the thing is, I would say to you, don't give up. Uh, I know when you haven't seen an answer to prayer, you just want to give up, but don't ever give up. You don't want to ever give up on your marriage. It was something to where we looked at each other, and we both said, we got it now. We actually had a foundation. We felt like our feet were on solid ground. We never felt that way. People handle those kind of things very differently. Um, some people can't deal with what's going on inside of them, but John 8:32 says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Prayer can save any marriage. I'm convinced of it. It saved mine. There were so many times in my marriage where I thought we weren't going to make it. And you know, just because of the problems of uh, lack of communication, things like that. This is the woman that God showed me when I asked him if I was supposed to marry her. She's an incredible wife. And you know, the thing is, God is a God of change. He wants us to change. We can't change each other, but God can change each of us. And when you realize that through the power of prayer, you can change and your spouse can change. It can change everything in your relationship.